Hello and welcome, this is Jennifer with another product release close-up video. As I mentioned, there are a lot of great products being released this week and I'm hoping that these videos that give you a closer look at the products help you decide if any of the products are right for you. So today's video is on the newest release from Lawn Fawn, which includes inks, stamps, and dyes. So let's start with the inks. Lawn Fawn has added five new ink colors to their premium dye ink pad line. These are fast, fast drying dye based inks and they really stamp very well. Now the newer colors are on the bottom there, the five new bright colors. Across the top is their original collection where most of them are more sherbety kind of colors. So these bright ones are a nice addition to that collection. So there are now 15 inks and this is the ink line that I actually recommend now to beginning stampers or people who are unsure which inks to get. I just think it is a great basic ink that gives good results every time. I refer to this kind of as an all around good guy ink because it kind of works for everything. There are a lot of other great inks out there that work really well on a lot of things, particular things, but this one's good all around. And you can see these bright colors that they just released really round out the collection that they already had. Now, if you're interested in those little ink swatches, those little squares that you see there, I have free downloads over my blog so you can print them out and create your own. So let's take a look at one of their new colors. This is the lobster color. It is a gorgeous red and I'm so excited about it. So I just stamped that swatch on the left and the one on the right I did yesterday. So you can see that the ink looks great right away and you don't have to wait for the ink to settle into the paper. Absolutely beautiful inks. So sorry to say it, but I definitely think these inks are a must have. Okay, so now these again, I just want to give you a quick look again at the five new colors, lobster, celery stick, peacock, fish tank, and I think the last one is juice box. I love the names of these. So those five new colors are wonderful, and I have a video coming soon where I show how to watercolor with them. By the way, people have asked about these little dots that I have on the side of my ink pads. I have a video coming up soon on that also, so you just stay tuned for that. So now it's time to take a look at the stamps and dies. The first stamp set is the Fantastic Friends, which is such a lawn fawn set, just so adorable and happy. Now I think it'd be fun to stamp either the fish bowl or the fish tank, cut out the inside with a craft knife and create a shaker card behind it with little fish inside. You can also stamp on vellum and put the fish behind the vellum so it looks like they're in water. And those sentiments are so much fun. The you're fantastic, best fishes, and thank you. And as always, Lawn Fawn is really good about having coordinating dyes available for their sets. Now I did create three cards using this set because I couldn't wait to use it. And I actually used the inks that I showed you earlier to do the water coloring here. I will have a video on these cards coming up in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned for that. I also use some of their dyes here too. Next I have three little sets that are in one pocket here. The first is So Jelly. I think this You're a Star sentiment would work with this stamp set or with other star dies or stamps you may already have. I also thought it'd be fun to use it with this Congrats die, which is new in this release also. You could do the Congrats and then put I'm So Jelly under it with the little jellyfish. I just think that's fun. You can create quick and simple cards that way. This next one is Sweet Smiles, just a fun card. This would be great for kids cards. I make a lot of kids cards. This will be a lot of fun. You can put different little smiley faces and all the little gumballs and those smiley faces you can add to other stamp sets that you may have, little flowers or little things that you just want to add a smile to. I think it'd also be fun to take that circle stamp at the top and make a little ball pit on a card and put little smiley faces on the ball pit and then stamp um, have a ball on that also. Just great for kids and happy cards. On the bottom we have Treat Yourself which is a tiny little uh, stamp set with the ice cream. It has a little heart and a smile that you can add on to the ice cream uh, little container also. And you can stamp the Feel Better container. I really like these small sets because they are inexpensive. So you can get a couple of them to get a variety of styles if you wanted to. And Lawn Fawn's images are always very easy to color, so you can practice coloring techniques with these also. And there are, of course, dyes sold separately that go with those. This is one of my other favorite sets in this release. This is called Party Animal. I really like this ha happy birthday sentiment along the bottom. It's just a great, fun, handwritten sentiment that's a little bit different than others that I have. These little animals all have their arms positioned so they can hold something. They can hold balloons or the little um, cupcake or present or ice cream cone. Just makes it fun. And you can put other things in their hands too from other stamp sets. The little uh, birdies are cute also, and there are party hats that you can add to them. And I actually put those party hats on the fish in the cards that I showed you earlier. 
These also look nice with the other Lawn Fawn critters that they've released in past um, releases too. And there is the die set also. I love that they have a little die for almost every image in the set. Next we have Let's Barbecue and talk about happy. This is like the happiest set. The sentiments are fun and this would be great to use for friends and masculine cards also. It's so hard to find fun masculine stamp sets but this one fits the bill. I think it'd be great to create simple cards with this like the We Should Catch Up. Stamp the little ketchup bottle with a smiley face, color it red, add a coat of glossy accents to it and you're good to go. I really enjoy um, using sentiments that kind of fit the season, so this is fun for the summertime also. And of course, there is a coordinating die set available that cuts out all of the images. Now, one of the cards that I get the most questions about is wedding cards. People seem to struggle with wedding cards, I think because they want to make an elegant card, and sometimes it's kind of challenging to make it just right when you want elegant. So I think this stamp set is fun because you can make it a little more lighthearted, a little more whimsical. So this is a wedding set with lots of great images that you can create simple cards, maybe add a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of shine, and that's all you need. I don't buy many wedding sets because I don't make that many wedding cards, but this is one that will be good to have on hand because it has a variety of sentiments and I can keep my cards simple and happy. I really like the coordinating die set for this stamp set also because of this cute tie the knot image. Next we have an alphabet set. This is Owen's ABCs. I like Lawn Fawn's alphabet sets because the stamp itself is actually cut very close to the image so that you can line up the stamps very close to each other, all the letters, on an acrylic block and stamp them all at once. Now the stamp is cut to a square even though it cuts a circle image. So that is very helpful when lining these up on a block. So you can do the perfect sentiment or a person's name. I think it'd be fun to stamp the person's name with these circles on an envelope. And they of course have the coordinating die. I just think these are adorable. Now for dies, there is the rainbow die. I've seen a few rainbow dies out in the past, but they seem to all have less little arches in it. So you can't cut as many colors. And I like that you can cut a complete rainbow with this one. Be fun to go with some of the cloud dies, which I'll show you in a moment. Here is the scripty congrats die that I briefly showed you earlier. I really like their scripty dies because it works on a variety of styles of cards and it's a little bold so you can stamp on it or use pattern paper. I use their scripty dies often. Here is Thinking About You. This is a dainty, longer die that is perfect for adding a sentiment on top of a card that you've created and you can't figure out where to stamp the sentiment. You can just lay this across. It's long enough that you can put it diagonally across a card, which, which I think is great. Most dies kind of fall short. Or you can just put it horizontal across a five and a half inch card and it has no problem. Next we have the small and large stitched oval stackables. So I actually put two sets together here. Every other one is for the large set and the others are for the small. The largest large oval is five and a half by four and a quarter, about that size. So it's perfect for making an oval shaped card if you wanted to. Next we have my favorite die from this collection. I'm so excited about this. These are the stitched borders. There are four different faux stitching borders and I've kept mine connected here so that I could die cut them all at once and you can check out the great look that you get with that. I, I plan to do a whole background this way. You can also cut them apart and use them individually. I'm a big fan of these faux stitching kind of dies because it's a great way to add a little bit of interest very quickly to your card. It really makes a big difference. A little bit makes a huge difference. So you'll be seeing me use these a lot. These will be staying out on my desk so that I can use them often. There are also the ocean wave borders. This goes nicely with that fish set I showed you in the beginning and I used it in the card that I'll have in a couple weeks in a video here. There are three borders here. I like that they're not perfect little um, waves and there's a smaller and medium and a large and you can die cut them this way and create clouds from it if you wanted to. Now there is also a cloud set in here and I'll be honest, there are a lot of cloud border dies out there. This one I like the best. It's moved up to my favorite because it has the faux stitching and there are three sizes of clouds. There's a small and the medium and the large. So based on what your card scene looks like, you can choose whether you want to use the small, the medium or the large. And I used one of these on the background of the card of that fish card that I showed you earlier. So this is going to be my new go-to cloud border die set. I'm a fan of any dies that give that faux stitching. 
Now there's also the milk carton die. I'm just going to show you very quickly how this goes together. And I'll be honest, I was figuring, out a, figuring it out as I went. And I decided to show you that just so you could see how easy it is to pull together. You use the die to cut two pieces. So I've cut two here, kind of scored along all the score lines that it embosses onto the paper. And I'm gluing the two together to create the milk carton itself. I'm gonna put the bottom together here. I actually put it together wrong and you'll see me fix it here in a moment. Then you kind of push the sides in so that it forms a milk carton like you would normally see. And again, it scores the lines for you so there really is no guesswork. You put a little bit of adhesive in there and then you have this cute little milk carton that would be perfect for um, making a little candy package or a gift package. Now on the bottom here, you'll see that I adjust it to fix it so it's put together the right way. There are a few ways to kind of put this together. I just did it very quickly and I just wanted to show you that it makes a great little treat box. Lawn Fawn has a few other dies like this that create little boxes and I think they're a great investment because you can use them for so many different things. So that wraps up this release. I hope this closer look helps you decide if any of the products are right for you. If you're interested in these products, I link to where you can find them in my YouTube description below, and you can head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. I appreciate you spending some time with me, and I hope you'll visit again soon.